guys, thanks for tuning in to another video. This week, house price index benchmark price numbers for April of 2024. It's the first real month of this spring market with new inventory coming on. We're going to be looking at what benchmark price and HPI have to say about the state of the market for our local market, Hastings, Prince Edward County, how that compares to Toronto, how that compares to Canada wide. So let's get into the numbers. First, we'll start with Hastings and Prince Edward County, our local market. So benchmark price is sitting at 580,500. This is the lowest price of all of these three markets, which shouldn't be alarming. This figures up 1.2% year over year. So from April, 2023 and 6.5% year to date. So from January of this year to now, although the April numbers may have been a little bit alarming for some potential sellers showing a increase in new listings and a decline in sales, benchmark price and HPI are still holding firm, showing modest appreciation year over year and pretty good increases year to date. HPI sitting at 363.2, which on the inverse is the highest of all three data points, which basically means that our market has outperformed the GTA in Canada on a percentage basis since January of 2005. Next up, the GTA, the big smoke where all the expensive real estate is, benchmark price sitting at $1,128,100. This is the highest price of them all, not surprising. This figure is actually down 1% year over year. That's mostly due to the spring market having a little bit more of a run up in the GTA and in Canada than our market. Uh, Bank of Canada held rates last spring, which brought some consumer confidence back to the market, brought buyers back. They thought Bank of Canada was done the rate hiking cycle and prices were going to go up again. And then with limited inventory and low inventory levels that created more competition in the market and thus driving prices up supply and demand. That being said, benchmark price and HPI is still up 5.8% year to date. So strong growth going into the spring market in GTA. Um, HPI sitting at 357.1, just a hair under Hastings and Prince Edward County. And as I've spoken about before, these percentage increases for benchmark price and HPI are the same. They're just different metrics used to track. Last up, Canada will go nationwide. So Canada benchmark price sitting at $735,900 and HPI just over 300 at 309.6. This is the more stable of the markets, partially because there's more data points, but obviously this is heavily affected by the GTA, Toronto, and Vancouver, these are the two major metros in Canada. They have the most sales, the most data, which impacts the Canada data. So to mirror the GTA, numbers are down 1% year over year due to what I just spoke about before, last spring's run up because of the Bank of Canada rate hold. And numbers are increasing leading into spring, increasing at 4%, so not as much as GTA, not as much as Hastings Prince Edward County, but still strong growth going into the spring market. I always talk about these numbers, but here are the trend lines in front of you. So put this kind of into perspective. So this is HPI. I'll flip over to benchmark price in a moment for the last five years. So from April of 2019 to April of 2024, Quinian District or Hastings and Prince Edward County is blue. Toronto is gold and Canada is red. So very closely correlated trend lines. You can see in 2020 is where things kind of took off, which if you've had any tabs on the real estate market, you probably know that. And since then, these two trend lines have been very closely correlated and Canada didn't have the run up that Ontario did, but still following a very similar trend. And you can see that Quinian District was all lagging behind Canada until 2020, where this happened to a lot of markets in Ontario, pandemic hit, people moved and took their Toronto money and moved to places in close proximity, which increased prices. So, and then Canada is still sitting about 50 basis points lower because you don't have that appreciation and people moving from bigger metros in the Maritimes and Prairie provinces and up north because you, there's just not that proximity. So if we go to benchmark price, big surprise, we see Toronto leading the way by a lot. Peak of the market, benchmark price is over 1.3 million. And then we see Quinian District or Hastings Prince Edward County, half of that, right? So 
you see a lot of appreciation here and, and people, I talk about this a lot, people locally here say, wow, prices are so expensive, but they're still half of greater Toronto area prices when we're only two hours away. So there may be a lot of room to grow here if people are still sprawling. And then Canada, although this is very heavily influenced by Toronto, Vancouver, Montreal, still about 150000 more than our benchmark price. So prices here are still low compared to other places in Canada. That's it for this week's video, house price index and benchmark price comparing Hastings Prince Edward County, Toronto and Canada. Let me know what you guys think of these videos. I know sometimes they can get kind of repetitive, but I do the local market stats right at the beginning of the month. And that shows you what's going on, number of sales, transactions, et cetera. But these benchmark price and HPI numbers, I like to compare to Toronto, I like to compare to Canada and what's going on in those markets, because like it or not, we are correlated and it really puts our market into perspective. Although it can be so different, real estate is a macro thing in a way, and we are correlated with those other markets. So it's nice to see what's going on there. And it kind of, you put the macro perspective and the local perspective, and you just get a better outlook on what's going on in the market. So I think it's important, even though it may be boring and repetitive. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And stay tuned next week for a new video. Thank you.